from South Africa will take uh, charge of this match when uh, the batteries and the cables are in their respective positions. And joining me for this one is uh, Ollie Phillips. Uh, Ollie, yeah. Brazil are still battling away because they are the hosts uh, for the uh, Olympic Games in, in Rio. They will be there in their rightful place as hosts. And uh, Russia, well, they'll have to battle it out with Samoa. Uh, disappointing Samoa today at the uh, repechage in Monaco next month. They will, and Russia have been unlucky on a couple of occasions so far today, in my opinion. And uh, it's going to be a good level, a good tester here for Brazil to see how they are, how they fare against perhaps you know, one of the you know, the, one of the teams that's at the lower end of this HSBC 7 series. But an ample opportunity for them to showcase their wares ahead of Rio. Yeah, and, uh, uh, Russia. Uh, they've been in a, in a battle with uh, Portugal. Russia looking to retain their core status. And at the moment, they have uh, a six point advantage over Portugal, which uh, looks to be enough on the evidence of uh, today's play. They won two Cut. bowl competitions uh, Fine. this season, or bowl semi finals yes. rather, and three shield uh, wins in between, which has uh, probably seen them keep their core status for next season. Russia inside their own 22. Fury in with the, the, Above the shoulder. tackle. Too high, says uh, Craig Joubert. Interesting decision from Russia. They're going for the touch finder. They want to. They're back in their lineup, but misjudging the kick and gifting the gifting the pill back to the Brazilians. This is Laurent Kouhe on the counter, showing good strength. They're taking the. Uh, Ball always on 10 meter line. Holding on, there was a clear release. I Penalized saw a clear release. Holding on. Well, they don't like anything in ambition, the Brazilians. Technical acumen lets them down time and again. Uh, you think you're right, winning. That just comes from time on the series and time against quality opposition. They've guessed it a few times uh, this season, the bold semi-finals, as I say, in Paris and Las Vegas. Bonnet. Vancouver. Can't play advantage, lost and forward Singapore, after. they won the shield. Tackle a roll away. Russians. Ball a little greasy. Had a, a hint of a, a shower of rain earlier on. Rakton! The weather's been kind for the other uh, players today. Yeah, in uh, Twickenham, we've had some terrific rugby, more to come. Tackler, play Fiji on. against Australia, England against Wales, the two final matches of the day. It's oh. a big hit coming in. Some great ball retention here from the Russians, but equally Stop some stoic me. defense from the Brazilians. No, this, really is a man. this is the guy that can uh, <laughs> score tries, Denis Simplikovic, strong <laughs> man. No more. Along with Stanislav Bondarev in their side, because they were without Vladimir Ostrushko. He's the main man, usually I've seen him around the ground here, but he's been injured. That's Denis Simplikovic doing the business here. Well, I was complimenting the Brazilian defence as we see that brilliant spot tackle come in. But then they're just, the Russians just unlock them as they send Simplikovic in. He just absolutely barrels through. The tackle of Kue from Brazil, and that is enough to break the deadlock. Excellent conversion right from the touchline. But look at this, one on one. Bosh, get off me there. Absolutely levels his man. Great contact skills. And a nice first try for uh, Simplikovic in this game. So Russia just drop it beyond the the 10 meter line. It's given Brazil a chance to see what they can do with ball in hand. And there's Lucas Muller. One possession, Fiori. Out wide, Moises Duki. Release, Barbara. Fly half in the 15s. 
Lost forward oh. by Yellow. Lost forward by Yellow. Lost forward. First infringement. Just no clear not happening for Brazil, is it? Oh, I'm not sure if that was lost forward. Craig Joubert, though, right on the spot, calling it. Otherwise, Brazil were through line break, potential try scoring opportunity. Craig Joubert was the referee in the final of the Rugby World Cup in New Zealand in 2011. And as we just look over to our left here, the uh, New Zealand All Blacks Sevens warming up, but to the right rather. Brazil, then, some 10 metres out from the uh, Russian try line. And scored one try this uh, weekend already through Daniel Sonsari. We get another one here against one uh, Russia. Dukie to uh, Sonsari. There is the man, and he doubles his tally for the weekend. <laughs> Fullback or wing in 15s, but uh, gets a try straight down the middle this time. That's a really well worked try from the penalty. They decide to go for the line out. They back Fiori's strength in the air. And from that, it's a straight run around. Two players come around the outside. They stretch the Russians. Then it's a really simple but effective right foot step from Sonseri. Goes, stands his man up. Then he's got the pace just to get away. Yeah, both he and his brother, twin brother, Felipe, played with some rugby uh, over in France. Any number of these Brazilian players have seen their service abroad. The land of the uh, the beautiful game, of course, but people are changing the oval ball, uh, the round ball for the oval ball, rather, in Brazil these days. Turnover is good. Let it go, yellow! That's uh, such great work from Simplikovic at the breakdown there. So strong, makes the tackle straight on his feet. Rips it away from Fury, and now Russia can get some some continuity back in their game. Tackle only. Play Bayef, on, tackle the captain only. goes to ground on the far side as Russia look to stretch Brazil here. Just as the uh, the siren goes for a half time, caught round the ankle was uh, a Filatov. Wasn't uh, tackle firmly. That's a, a high tackle coming in from Simplikovic on uh, Felipe Silva. Well, Simplikovic goes from good to bad to the ugly there. <laughs> when he, outstanding work for the turnover, then he's on the sh on the his player's shoulder to look like he's going to subdue the running line, knocks it forward, and then gives away a penalty for a high tackle. <laughs> so not much to choose between the teams here then. Yeah. The opening score for that right. man, uh, Denis Simplikovic, but Brazil are still in the hunt at half time. It's Russia seven, Brazil five. So coming up next then it's Argentina against New Zealand. Back to the here and now it's Russia against Brazil for the second half. So Gordon Titchens, most uh, successful rugby sevens coach of uh, all time. Been with the uh, New Zealand All Blacks for the last uh, 20 years or so. And it's a last chance for some of these uh, young men to claim a place in his squad for the Rio Olympics. Uh, he's such a great stalwart of this uh, sevens game. And I, you and I were talking to him before this tournament started. What's so intriguing about Gordon is he said to me that he likes to go see the parents of every single player that plays for him. Spends an hour, two hours with them just to get to know how they tick, how they work. So the knowledge, the depth that he has of his players before they even come into tournament 
is so good. And I think that's all part and parcel of being a great coach on and off the field. So two points to the difference. Russia against Brazil, the first time for these two teams uh, to meet on the uh, rugby field in the uh, short code. Should have won it clean. Put it down, please. Russia, well, they on, defeated Australia here in the bowl final. That was 10 years ago. And the coach uh, today, Andre Sorokin, was a valuable member of uh, that squad here in Twickenham on that particular day. Brazil really do favour their liner here. That they look to the likes of Fiore. They know that he's quite solid in the air. They use that as their play so they, they can get their smaller, quicker runners back into the game from the line -out. But they've got to win it. Yeah, that's key, Oli. They spread it wide quickly. But Bayef looking again to bring in uh, the uh, six feet five inches tall, 17 and a half stone, Denis Simplikovic. And in metric terms, that's 195 and 110 kgs. Take some stopping. So a lot of Russian muscle coming straight at you. Russian bear. And if he just holds on to the ball in that situation, he's can pose some real problems. And when he gets his claws into you as well, he can do some damage. <laughs> Tell you what, there was a good bear standoff in the last game as Sonny Bill Williams and Simblikovic went up against each other and the outcome was not so simple. Well, I held firmly onto the desk when uh, those two collided. Good crowd here at uh, Twickenham. They've enjoyed some fantastic rugby throughout the day and they'll be here again uh, tomorrow. And we have some uh, exciting games in prospect yeah. as the 2015-16 series draws to a climax. Will Fiji retain their championship status? Fine. They stuttered today. They lost Six. to uh, right England first time out this morning. England at took them on up front early doors and uh, reaped the rewards so it's Fiji against Australia before too very long uh, South Africa of course uh, about 14 points adrift just focusing back there Russia against Simplikovic he looks to his, his other players his teammates for support but unfortunately he seems to have left his hands in the changing room because he, at the moment he, he just can't catch a cold but he, he's he is such a big man and if he can just concentrate on doing his basics doing the simples right he poses such a threat once he gets going crouch Juliano Fiori with the, uh, the headgear born in Hammersmith Set. raised in Ealing to a Brazilian father Jorge He's a head boy at St. Benedict School. Duki, the try scorer, Sonseri. Can't get uh, past Igor Galinovsky, though. Oh, player who was here 10 years ago. And some of these Russian players have been around uh, a long time, but the game patterns have changed. Used to play their sevens as they used to play their 15s. But now they put more width to the game, they've learnt. Sansuri oh, gets away this time from uh, Galinovsky, up over halfway. Needs some support here. Just throws the ball back inside. Duki is there, and so is Simplikovic. Five, six metres out on. from the Russian try line. Down, goal. Not the best of matches, Not perhaps, on. but it's uh, on a knife edge here, seven to five. As Russia bring it away then through the man that missed the tackle, Galinovsky. Well, it's a scrappy affair, isn't it, Win? But if that ball goes to hand, you've got to fancy Russia to go under the poles. It's desperate defence from the Brazilians. Um, uh, but they reap the rewards the for doing so. Yeah. An old coach of mine, Mike Friday, says you run your blood yeah. to water constantly coming back. And it's that crucial tackle there for Brazil that's, that just keeps them in the game. One and, seven subs. and down on the ground there for Brazil is uh, Lucas Muller. 
you don't want to lose that. And that's the problem. Another left knee. Looks pretty uncomfortable from here. And there'll be some time for Muller to receive some treatment. got to love some of the fancy dress outfits on show here when haven't you but now what would be your little one that you turn up your little number <laughs> there's mine <laughs> uh, that'll be my eyes tomorrow night uh, ollie and just to remind us that ireland will feature in that repercharge in in monaco they've uh, come in under the radar they're not on the uh, not on the circuit and look how but, happy he is about it as well. When well I have you seen you. an unhappy Irishman ever, Oli? But I think what he's more excited <laughs> about is the game that's coming up next, Argentina against New Zealand. A replay of that quarter-final in Paris last weekend where Argentina just stole, stole the spoils from underneath New Zealand. Big, big contests all over the place. None bigger, really, than Sonny Bill Williams and Axel Muller, two fantastic servants on this seven series this year. I can't wait to see them go head-to-head. -head. Tell you that the uh, the stretcher is out here for uh, Lucas Muller, and you'll yeah. get the best yeah. of uh, medical <laughs> attention. No, right. So the game was uh, coming up. Then it is uh, Argentina against New Zealand. Then it'll be Fiji against uh, Australia. Well, that Fiji Australia game is almost a winner takes all game. That one, England obviously already won their first two. You'd think they're probably going to go on to beat Wales in their final three. So it's going to be between Fiji or Australia that go through. What a contest that'll be too. Kenya. Well, we see some of the colour that's going on and the fun scenes around the stadium as everyone stands up to applaud. Crouch. Number seven going off there, Lucas Muller. Um, Hopefully it's nothing too serious. Well, he's sitting Six. up on a stretcher and uh, that all goes well. But his knee was certainly causing some concern and consternation there. What is this? Duque. Two minutes, yes, just over that? two minutes. Can Brazil get the, the first victory? No problem, yeah. That would be a, a huge plus one. point for them. They've got a real opportunity, they've just got to do the basics yeah, well, do the simple things yeah. effectively, and that's how you're going to beat this Russian team. Behind the ball, please. Crouch. Edward uh, Find. Filatov. Set. That's the Russian number three from the uh, Cuban rugby club. And if Brazil can move it quickly here, they have men out on the left into the hands of, well, not quite this time to Fiori and uh, Thiago Evaristo. Okay, all right, all right. He's not expecting the pass. So frustrating to, to watch, and you can see the frustration all over yeah, Evaristo's no face there because Brazil set that up well. They go wide to the right, stretch Russia, come back, the hands are effective, then it's all about just catch and pass. As soon as you do, put the pace on and commit defenders, but if you forget to catch the ball, you're kind of in no man's land, unfortunately. Yeah, they know There's what needs to be done, it's the execution yeah. that lets yeah. them down. Behind the ball, please. Coach. Uh, now it's a bit slippery out there, and we've seen Simplikovic drop a few balls, but I wouldn't Set. be surprised here if I were the Russians. Get it wide to him early and let him have a run at them. That's a poor tossing, you won't get it this time. So back into contact goes uh, Galinovsky. <laughs> Number nine goal, you've got to clear out of the tackle. In the way of the clean out. Kuhe is the man penalised. In the way of the clean out, says referee Joubert. Just the one dry piece and the conversion separating the teams. And what a conversion it was right from the touchline. Now then, this is the try scorer, and away he goes. Uh, the juggernaut is away, Denis Simplikovic. And that seals it for Russia. <laughs>
Well, that's exactly what he was saying, Oli. Get the ball into the hands of this man. And he will do the rest for you. He is remarkably quick for such a big man. And he just makes that look so simple. Glides outside of Felipe Silva, who is too tight in the defensive shape. So straightforward, though. Off the, off the penalty, push it two, three hands out to him. One on one. Silva's too tight on the inside, and he just glides round for a very simple try and a win for Russia. And the flags are in the air again. And so Russia have it, courtesy of two tries from this man, Denis Simplikovic, and Russia have defeated Brazil by 14 to 5. And now we move on to the Pool D decider between Argentina.